Welcome, welcome to uh, Lake Superior. In, uh, I'm right near Eagle Harbor, Michigan on the UP, the Upper Peninsula. And I just thought that this, uh, this moment was too good not to share it with you. It's just amazing here. Uh, I can't seem to tear my way of, uh, tear, tear myself away from Lake Superior. You know, being, uh, I came in on, on Duluth and met Josh and his family and spent quite a while along that whole short North Shore line there. Met Nita, uh, just had a wonderful time up there along the North Shore on the Minnesota side, which is probably out there somewhere. And then uh, I got to do, I think it was three nights in a tourist town called Bayfield, Wisconsin. And that was really, really cool. Very different. Got three bike rides in, which was really cool. Um, two mountain bike rides and uh, the road bike ride on Madeline Island. I think I'll cobble together some of that video and maybe make like a, a compilation video of several different bike rides, actually three, because the one, the, the fourth one in a row was yesterday up the coast or the shoreline here in Copper Harbor, a beautiful place, an amazing place, almost at the very tip up there and um, got some footage of that too. So maybe I'll do that tonight while I'm kicking it in the van. But I just wanted to check in on this quick video just to say hello and invite you to the sunset here. Uh, I guess it's a, a hazy smoke-filled sunset from fires up in the Boundary Waters in, in Canada as well, but um, it's still quite stunning. I don't know what to say about this place. I mean, there's a car going by, but that's pretty rare and that's Kind of one of the main highways here it's really quiet there's nobody here there's nobody here and uh man i just uh it's sort of like maine all over again i had a hard time leaving maine and this is just as amazing it's, it's fantastic i just wish you were here you know i wish you were here because you know i've never had experiences like this but um Anyway, I think the moral of, to, of the story on this really short video is uh, I want to, I wanna, as humbly as I can, declare myself an ex curmudgeon You know, one of those guys that's always says, oh, it's too hot, it's too buggy, it's too far. And I really do feel like I've kind of broken through that and arrived at a place where I can say, let's just go. Let's just do it. You know, if it's too hot and it's too buggy, we'll deal with it. I mean, I'm getting beat by a few bugs here right now but it's nothing that makes it worth not you know, it's nothing that it uh makes it so that i shouldn't have this moment with you that's what i should say so anyway um as usual just another rambling video as usual at a loss for words when the camera starts always have a million and one things to say when it's not on it's a whole different ball of wax to just talk to the talk to you this way without stumbling around with my words. But um, I just I just couldn't do this without showing you all this. So I'm gonna grab this camera and invite you to just take a quick look out here. I figure if you can't be here with me, I should at least record it so that we can all share it this way. So wherever you are or whatever you're doing, I hope you're enjoying it. Hope you've had a great day. I can't wait to see you again. Can't wait to see what's around the next corner and who's going to be there to greet us. We know we're going to find someone and it's going to be good. Maybe we'll see some old friends. Who knows? But no matter what happens, just know that I'm thinking about you. And... Very appreciative of you and your time and for coming along with me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.